Here we got an interesting project. This is a uh, passenger side manifold. And you can see it's cracked here all the way to about here. And uh, so I'm going to try to to weld this. Now I've determined that uh, it's pretty much straight flat here. Uh, and of course the head is flat. So probably what happened is this manifold was bent in just a little bit. And when they uh, torqued it down it just snapped out of here. So now it's held in a flat position. This was run hot for years so it sort of went to where it want to go. I've cleaned it up a bit with a grinder and I'm going to try to weld it. Cast iron doesn't weld very well but uh, really all I've got to do is just try to seal it a little so it's not going to leak and uh, try to hit that crack inside as much as I can and we'll see what happens. Well, what I've done here is just take a grinder and clean up the mating surfaces get all the rust off. I've opened up this a little bit bigger. I've got a frame machine here that's flat and it uh, it looks like it's all perfectly flat so I'm gonna use uh, C clamps and clamp this down so hopefully it won't warp while I weld it. I've got a piece of frame tool here I'll show you. This is big and heavy and uh, plenty strong and perfectly flat. So all I'm going to do is clamp my, uh, clamp my manifold onto it so it'll, it'll hold it perfectly flat. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to weld this. I only can do it like a quarter of an inch at a time because and then got to let it cool because you can't get this stuff hot it'll crack. All right, I got it all clamped down here good. So now I'm gonna gonna start welding. I'm gonna start from the the back side here um, and weld it towards the crack. If I start this way on it, this will keep this end uh, from moving, and as it expands, it might crack it loose. So this way, I'll have a it'll leave the open end open in free for it to move around. Yeah, I got it finally welded up here and then I ground it off. Still see a little bit of my uh, weld join right here. I'm going to fill this area in. Hopefully that will give it a little bit of strength. I've taken this down here pretty flat where I can get a washer on it. Not really looking for aesthetics as much as I am hoping that it will hold it. Put another bead on it, and see what it looks like. I put one more bead on it here. Uh, looks like it's stuck pretty good, and I've got a little, little bit of bracing in it. Now I'll flip it over and see what I can do to the inside. Yeah, I welded it up there and ground it down. So it looks like I got a pretty decent surface on it. I'm going to try to run a bead on this inside crack here. Uh, hopefully, I'll, hopefully I'll get some kind of a look and sealing it up. I don't think this camera is focused, but uh, there is a crack in there. I'm going to try to weld it. Uh, we'll see. Uh, put a bead in it. I don't know how well it'll hold, you know. But we really don't have any pressure on this cast iron. And I think our gasket will be enough to seal it here. So I 
I have pretty high hopes for it. And uh, this side looks pretty good. I'm pretty sure I can get a bolt in here. And, and it won't leak. And if I can do that, well, I'll be tickled with what I've, what I've done here. Of course, I could put it on and fire it up and it immediately just crack again. But I'm hoping that it won't. And we will salvage this manifold. And eventually, I'll make with some headers for the thing. Uh, next thing is to try to get these bolts out. They're really rusted in. The guy just cut them off. I finally soaked them and was able to knock them through. And I'm gonna cut the ends of them off with a wheel here and try to get them out the rest of the way. Well, here's the final product. Kind of cleaned it up a little. Can't do much about that inside. I don't want to put a lot of weld on it because exhaust flow but it uh, looks good looks like my nut will go on it if I'm looking down at here it's it's pretty much flat it looks like uh, maybe the top is just a little bit out but uh, I think if I'm careful bolting it on I'll be all right. I got my bolts out of this and cleaned up. So now I can just wire brush this whole thing and paint it. And I'll, I'll have me another manifold ready to go. That's the end of that one. And here's the finished product. I just shot it with header paint. You can see the area right here is you can see my weld and stuff. I figured out how to focus my camera close. It's obvious that it's not all rough like that one, but uh, I think it's good enough and it's on the bottom anyway. So all in all, this is a pretty decent piece. And the top here will be just fine. So I can uh, rest easy on this one. Managed to save the manifold. At least I hope I did. I won't know until I really get it on and start it. Yeah, it looks real nice. The busted ear is, uh, where is it? It's right here in the back. Where, where is the damn thing? Oh, it's right here in the front. Oh, uh, but it's completely hidden. And uh, it looks like everything is going on here just fine. So you never even see it. And if it'll hold, which it, I'm sure it will, nobody will even know that it was cracked. So it turned out that this is a pretty decent job on this. And one more little step down and. Just about ready to start putting this thing in.